Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. Um, I really enjoyed creating this look. It's so colorful. Usually I don't wear bright colors so often, but this one just worked so well. And it's spring anyways. Um, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. First I'm going to highlight my brow bones. I already did my eyebrows off camera. It was so difficult to do because I haven't threaded in a long time. Then I'm using a jumbo milk pencil over my eyelids just to give me a good color payoff. And I'm going to use a dark purple from my Clean Color um, palette which I got a long time ago, maybe two years ago. It was about 4 or $5, so very affordable. And on top of that dark purple, I'm going to use the lighter vibrant purple that I really, really love. And the reason I'm using the dark purple first is just to give me a good color payoff to, um, to make the lighter purple pop more and also last longer. from my wet and wild palette to blend out my crease because we don't want no harsh lines. This makeup is very inexpensive. You don't need super expensive products to achieve this look. I mean if you have similar colors from an expensive line you can also use them but the main purpose of this video was to use inexpensive products. Winner of this look, the teal eyeliner. This is just what makes this look so different from every other purple you ever wore. The colors just went so well together. Um, this is 863. It's called Mega Liner by Wet and Wild. Very beautiful color for the spring. I really, really love it. This was the first time I was using it. I didn't really like the tip was so thin. So it took me a good amount of time to apply the liner. I have to keep I have to keep dipping the um, tip in the pot but anyways it came out well and I think I was just trying to achieve the perfect straight line which um, I think it kind of got close but not really but we got the job done nonetheless Now I'm applying a, a white pencil on my waterline just to give me that bright awake look. And you can use a black pencil if you wanted to or even a purple. That would look gorgeous but I chose to go with the white. Usually I don't apply falsies, but 
for the look I was going for. It was fun to apply some falsies just for that day. And I went off camera to do that and apply the rest of my face, my foundation, blush, and everything else. Now time for the lips. I'm using a, a light brown pencil that I got a long time ago as well. You can use any brown pencil. It's only 99 cents. Um, and I'm moisturizing my lips so it doesn't look so cracked. And I used the 90 C, 903C lipstick by Wet n Wild. And these lipsticks are just $1.99, I believe, from the drugstore. On top of that, I'm using a H&M lip gloss I got a long time ago as well. I think I got it last year summer. Just to give me that shine. And the look is complete. Very easy, simple, beautiful, inexpensive, need I say. So later that night, I did try a pink colored lipstick, which was nice. But I think I would stick with the pitch lipstick because it's more wearable, it's more realistic, at least in my opinion. It just makes the entire look easy on the eyes, which was what I was going for. But if you love pink, you can also use a pink lipstick. It just depends on what you're going for. I do have a picture at the end with a pink lipstick. It was equally as beautiful. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.